faster than I thought. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a second look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order with backwards compatibility with the Xbox Series X. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With the release of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I wanted to take a look back at the first installment where it all started with Fallen Order. I truly felt that EA might really be thinking about the players once again with their single player adventure from Respawn. With their updates on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, they were able to take advantage of new hardware in making a better gaming experience overall. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was developed by Respawn Entertainment and released by EA in 2019. The original game was massive in its own right that it was plagued with some bugs and rarely hit 30 frames per second consistently. Even with mid-gen refresh of the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, we only got higher resolutions but also only hit a high of 45 frames per second on both consoles with the upgrade patch. Many things were fixed overall making the complete version of the game. Bugs and glitches are gone in higher resolution and aiming for 60 frames per second on both the PS5 and Series X were possible. We are looking at two modes here with performance or quality. Performance aims to hit mid-range resolution at 1400p at 60 frames per second where quality aims at a 4K at 30 frames. Now I definitely love the clarity and higher resolutions at 30 frames per second on most games but then I played the difference on Fallen Order and I was truly amazed. In no way did I have a problem with the Xbox One X version, but replaying this on a Series X in performance mode in which I would recommend is just absolutely glorious. Playing this at a higher frame rate really makes this game that much better especially with the scope of the game the developers were trying to hit. Playing it in quality mode is much more clearer and does amaze playing in high detailed worlds again, but it just seems sluggish and slow. The performance mode still looks great and clearer than the original, but runs also smoother with very very rare dips. The gameplay feels much more responsive and feels much more fluid that makes the game flow so much better in this lightsaber heavy affair. Other than some dips in some intensified areas that you probably won't notice like on the other older tech, you will find the game worth playing again and enjoying the fantastic visuals and the way it was meant to be played as it holds one of the best single player Star Wars game adventure released by EA to date next to Survivor. Before playing Survivor, I would highly revisit this single player affair again if you have the time as this was the game I fell in love with more the second time around with a glorious performance mode with higher clarity, higher resolution, and butter smooth gameplay. That's it for me on this Take 2 look on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. I won't let you touch them. You can't stop the Empire! I can stop you. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 
Yeah. Uh.